Hi, I'm Kathleen. Welcome to Koi Art Cafe. So today I thought I'd start a new video series called Studio Vlogs. Yes, I've seen a couple artists do this and I figured I'd take you guys behind the scenes to see how I prep for conventions and update my store and make new products. Yes, so I'm going to be showing you guys how I make buttons, stickers, prints, everything. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do tutorials just yet, but for now, I figured I'd take you with me behind the scenes. Now this right here, my first product I'm showing you is how I make my buttons. So right now, I'm preparing my Nezuko illustrations to make button files to print out. Okay, and here she is. Now if you get nervous about like the color quality, I usually recommend just printing out one just to double check on the quality. I'm pretty happy with this, so now I'm just gonna cut these out. Okay, so after cutting out my buttons, I'm showing you how I actually press all the pieces together. Yes. So I just inserted the pin backing. I just got this button machine in December, so I've been using it for about a month now. It took some trial and error to get it right, but as you can see, I actually twisted the pin a little bit to a different angle, just so that the pin backing would be straight. Yep, and then there's a little metal piece I'm putting in there. And then I'm gonna take my button piece, uh, the illustration that I cut out, and then put a clear film on top of that. And then it's pretty easy from there. It's so satisfying pressing the buttons. I don't know why, but it just relaxes me after a long day. <laughs> Checking to make sure all the pieces are together. And voila! First button. I'm gonna pretend like I did that right on my first try on the camera. I actually failed the button first because sometimes the pieces don't press all the way. But yep, um, these buttons are 1.25 inch. As you can see, uh, the printer cutout that I made was 1.5 inches. So it does shrink quite a bit when you put it in the button. And next I'm showing you how I make the display for my buttons at a table. Yes, yeah, so comes with a couple pieces. I got most of these things from Walmart. I got this photo stand for about $3, a little bit less than that. I got this whiteboard for about $1.97. Um, of course, you're gonna need your buttons and earth magnets to stick your buttons onto the dry erase board. And I know this one's kind of optional, but I also add this little cute bow sticky note because it was the exact color. It just makes it so much cuter. <laughs> yep, and next you just stick the buttons on and there we go. This is what, I have about 30 designs. So this is what it looks like. It's a really cute, colorful display to show people what kind of buttons I have. My favorite's the top row with all the puns. <laughs> guys I'm gonna be recording the unboxing of some merch that I ordered um, I got this box from awesome merch and I'll be reviewing some of the prints and stickers I got <gasps> so I can already see I ordered some stickers I just wanted to see the die cut stickers and see how they are so let's check it out I got um, 30 stickers with two designs so one is the uh, spirited away one and then Wow, oh, these are actually really quality. They're a little bit bigger than what I expected. I ordered um like a three by three sticker. All right, and then next are my prints. Let's see, I'm really excited. So I ordered uh, 75 prints and three designs. So I should get 25 of each. And you see the colors. Oh wow, okay, I'm gonna need this. Oh my goodness, wow, it's really high quality. <laughs> so this is my BTS gumball print. Wow, the colors are pretty accurate and it's got a bit of a gloss to it, which is really nice. Okay. 
This is my favorite. Okay, and then I got prints for my Ghibli Gumball one. Very similar. I guess the colors are a little bit off. This is supposed to be more blue. But honestly, it's pretty accurate coloring. It's got all the details in there. Wow, and the paint is pretty thick actually. I'm really happy with the quality of this. And then lastly, it's my Avatar one. Ooh, okay. So this one, it came out a little bit darker than what I expected, but I like how they kept true to the rich navy blue. It looks pretty good actually. I'm really happy with this quality. It's very nice thick paper. It doesn't seem like it's gonna scratch or fray too much. And they did really well in keeping like the little white details that I have here. Okay, but yeah, these are my prints and stickers from Awesome Merch. I highly recommend them. Um, I'm gonna show you guys when I sell these at conventions uh, how well they do. And next, I'm gonna show you how I prepare them. So when I display my prints, I like to laminate them so that they'll last a while when I go to different conventions. Also, I didn't include this in the recording, but I actually laminate my prints twice just because I worry that if I put the print on too high of a temperature, it might affect the colors a bit. Yes, so I just laminate every print twice. And this is what it looks like when I hang it up for display. I also replaced a couple old prints by like the Gumball series right in the middle. And here I'm opening a package I received from Sticker Mule. They were having a sale for their stickers, so I got some Deku stickers from My Hero Academia. I was so excited to open them, I accidentally dropped them, but I'm really happy with the quality. He came out super cute. He's a two by three inch sticker. And right here is my sticker stand. I ordered this from Amazon. Now at first I was a little disappointed because my package came in damaged the first time, but luckily I got a reorder right on time before the Galentine's Greensboro convention. So I was able to get a replacement, no sweat. Yes, so this is a two by three and a half regular business card holder that's stacked upward. I figured it would give some dimension to display at my table. And as you saw earlier when I opened my Ghibli stickers, I actually don't make my stickers as of right now. I would like to in the future now that I got a printer, but before, when for my first conventions, I've been ordering stickers from Awesome Merch um, and Sticker Mule, as well as my magnets. But hopefully one of my New Year's resolution is to learn how to make my own stickers myself. And this is my backing card. There's my Instagram right here. This is the pin that goes with it. 